Christian Louboutin is known the world over for his exquisitely crafted stiletto heels with their signature nail polish red sole. His stiletto empire has grown from a single pair of shoe salon to a global brand that sells more than a half a million pairs of heels a year. And now Disney has given him an otherworldly assignment to envision the footwear of the women of the latest Star Wars franchise, The Last Jedi. I heard that you love Darth Vader. And I love Darth Vader. Have you worn the Darth Vader head? I did. <laughs> I got the Darth Vader mask at, you know what, I think, definitely in Paris. I never carried a Darth Vader mask through costumes. Too scary to go through costume with a Darth Vader mask. <laughs> <laughs> you may be in trouble. What was that like when you got that call to start designing shoes for each of the characters in Star Wars? I'm French, I never say yes first, but I never say no. My first reaction was, what is it about, exactly? And then they came in Paris and explained me that the movie was done, so it was about creating some shoes according to the main character, female characters from the movie. And these would be auctioned through the George Lucas Foundation. So did you get to see the movie ahead of time? When Disney approached me for that project, I said, oh, you know what, it's perfectly nice. You don't mind to send me the movie. Um, it's not going to be really possible. <laughs> I did not realize how much, you know, it's top everything secret. is top secret. <laughs> um, how does that design process for you happen when you're thinking about how you're going to design shoes for characters you have never, ever seen? I knew the characters. I had some pictures, I saw the new animals, I saw a part of it, but it was all steel shots, all steel shots. So it provokes a different type of imagination. A movie like Star Wars is completely fertile in, in terms of everything new. So in fact, it was not a problem. Star Wars is a huge beloved franchise for people here in this country. Well, I, actually all over the world. Did you feel like there was a lot of pressure to really get the designs of these shoes right? If I was taking the measure of Star Wars, then it's become, you know, it, it takes, a, it, it puts a lot of pressure on you and then, and then it's bad. So I think that less, less you understand how important can be the project or how, you know, how it's involving so many people loving this person or this project or this movie, freer you remain, actually. Along with his original designs for each of the film's female leads, Louboutin created a showpiece shoe in collaboration with Industrial Light and Magic, the special effects company founded by George Lucas. I was quite excited to do something with people who are not going to have this limit. Well, you don't have a limit, in a way really suddenly imagination gets deeper mm -hmm. and again your imagination is not doesn't have to shrink they unveiled the entire collection at the red carpet premiere of the last jedi the high concept heels are only available through a charitable auction and the winning bidder will snag two pairs one custom fit to size and the other a memorabilia piece signed by the actress and louboutin himself so if you had to describe each of these characters and the shoe design for them in one word, what would it, what would it be? Ray. Um, fierce. Captain Phasma. Sharp. Rose Tico. Ambivalent. Oh, ambivalent. I like that. Vice Admiral Amelin Haldo. Autoritaire. In, in charge, yeah. Now, every single pair of these shoes have one thing in common, though, because you have a jewel on each of these shoes that was actually inspired by the TIE fighter spaceship. I thought that it would make sense to have a, a, what I would call a red thread between all the different characters. So symbolizing that they all belong to the same saga. So I took the, the fighter, which is really to me was, is, okay, it's a vassal, but at the same time, the same way, if you look in the details, it's a piece of jewelry. It's really a piece, it could be a 1925 Art Deco piece of jewelry, in a way. What would the one word you tag to the showpiece shoot? Spectacular. 